Yo guys, this is a game against Irelia in Low Masters. I go Conqueror and Ignite because I feel like you can't kill her otherwise, 1v1. And also I go this weird build, uh, just Shojin, Profane, Cleaver, into whatever you want. Just try and gout items until the next patch, which is when all of them are going to get changed, sadly. And yeah, let's see how this game went. So right off the bat, there's a bunch of griefing. My Zac just jumps in. Uh, ignites the Carthus. There's no way you can kill him. He just dies. So I realize I need to go back to lane. I also saw Elise moving, which is Elise support. We quickly deafen before we lose our brain cells. And Aurelia has the kill, so I'm kind of thinking to just flip a bit and try to fight him. Uh, fist fight him with Ignite. Even though Elise is around, I kind of don't really care because we're nice and emotional. <laughs> but he only has two stacks on his Q, so I can walk up and try to mess with him a bit. Right here, I Q, I auto, and I space him a bit, and I auto. I'm thinking I can all in with Ignite. Ignite, and then Q, and then flash and auto. But it still wasn't enough, because he has biscuits and potions. So, I'm pretty sad. He hits level 2 first, and I run away. Then Elise comes out of nowhere. He ignites, I Q him, knowing I have Scorch, and that he'll probably die. Which he does to the minions at the end. And now I'm level 2. Um, and this saves me from earlier because he's going to Q on me. I know I, I know he's going to do that, so I W. And we kill him like that because I knew I would survive a W and a Q from Irelia. I want to show you guys a combo against Irelia. So my middle minion is dying. So I walk up to it and I place W backwards knowing he's going to Q. And I throw the Qs and then I auto E and take the W. And run away from his W range. It's a pretty good combo to use against Irelia's. And then right here I'm walking up to E because I see Zack on the left. It's coming. Now I E him again, get my W, which is great, because then I can just wait. Get the Q there, get the kill. And yeah, we shove it in. But yeah, the W backwards combo on the minion that you know Irelia is going to Q works to poke them out. And also it can help you get all-ins when you're ahead. So here's another all-in against Irelia. I see my Zyra is invading, but there's no Wraith camp, so I ping for her to help me. We place the W behind the minion, I know she's going to Q, and then I throw the Qs. And then I just run her down. I kind of messed up because my W ran out, usually... You want to take your W before it runs out, so she can't kill you. Um, but yeah, she <laughs> she almost beat me 1v1, even though I'm like really ahead. So you always be, need to be really careful against Aurelia. And try to use your own team against her, like I did right there. When I saw Zyra on the enemy Wraiths, and the Wraiths went up, I know that she's going to help me. I came back to lane first, and Aurelia based, so I shoved mid, and now I'm walking top, looking for the Mundo. Because my Zac went for some heavy trades. I know that he's in one burst combo with a passive auto attack from there, so we can't run straight away as soon as he's in range, and then we run back to mid lane. I'm farming mid, and my jungler trolls a bit by walking up when we saw Aurelia moving. But I opt to kill Karthus first, and then get my conk stacks, ult onto Aurelia, thinking I can kill her as well. And then she queues onto the plant, which is actually kind of unlucky, because I was thinking maybe I would kill her. But yeah, we go back in, looking kind of cool. And right here, a rookie mistake would be to recall straight away, but I saw her moving a bit to the left, so I know I could push really fast, and then just go base. Right here, I have Seraphine behind me, so I'm kind of getting baited by my supports. Uh, I don't really want to fight, even though I have Shoujin. We use W backwards, and then we Q again. So we have Shoujin, which is a bunch of haste. And then I fail to ult his ult, which is pretty bad. We end up killing him, but then Karthus ults me, so I'm like, let me get the cannon. So a good thing about this haste conqueror build is that you don't need to worry about throwing all of your spells into Aurelia's W because you have some sustained damage. So I W E Q just trying to get conk stacks. Walk up for another conk stack and then I dodge his E, ult him. And I did throw my spells into his W but it doesn't really matter because I have conqueror and he's like pretty much dead. So it's a pretty nice thing about the build. So now I'm pretty fed. I kind of want to just try to kill Irelia. I know I have a bunch of haste, so I just W, E, Q, hit one of the Qs, which is good enough. I'm thinking about how to go all in. W at the end of my W, so we take it at the end of it. And then we just throw another W out after we combo, and then we combo him again while he's trapped in my shadows. So I'm just camping in the bush, and my jungler's going in to try and bait the Aurelia, which is fine. But then I rush my spells. This is something you can't really do. So when Aurelia is dashing around, you want to hold your Qs, because I just wasted my spells. So we lost a lot of pressure on her. And then I just flash in to finish her off. But yeah, it's very important to hold your spells. Um, if she's going to dash around a bunch. To make sure you hit your Qs. And now we're taking tower. So I place a W behind me. Because I know Varus is walking here. And he flashes, he Qs and he misses. Because I ran away after I take my W as well. So 
He didn't take into account that little movement and he dies. So right here, I take the mid wave and I see Aurelia's top, but I also see a fight. But since I know that my Zac is extremely fed, I'm very sure this fight is going to be won no matter what. So I opt to go top knowing that the Aurelia is going to be a free kill and we could just get more. So this kind of this kind of thing comes with experience. I mean, I missed the cannon, which is really bad. But it comes with experience of like knowing whether you win the fight or lose the fight and stuff like that. So as you can see, four of the enemy team is dead. So only Zyra died and it's completely fine. We kill Aurelia and stop her from taking the tower. So I end up greeting for this tier 2 tower. Um, because, you know, I'm three levels up thinking it should be fine. But I don't want to die for her, so I wait for her to walk down. And when you have a lot of haste, you want to open with W, W, Auto, E. Then you ult and then you Auto, E again. And usually you have your W up again. So we kill her. And uh, don't worry about this Carth Assault, it doesn't kill me. So my team takes Baron and stuff, we take Dragon, I just hit this plant and I find Carthus and Elise. I ult straight away knowing that I can dodge the Elise stun. And then I did something weird with my W where I'm like, what the hell did I just do? But it's fine, we're gonna chase him. Um, <laughs> if I didn't waste one of my Ws like that, it would have been fine. Either way, we chase her down, dodge her stun and take the kill. My team all fought and died and I'm pretty late to the fight, but it's fine. It's WW ult. Auto profane, look at all the gold from the cannon minion as well. So satisfying. So I kinda wanna show you guys a bit of a problem with Ignite. So I'm going bot, but my team is fighting. Aurelia pushes and she teleports straight away. So I'm like, well, maybe I could I should move there, but it's a cannon wave, so I go for that. And then I just greed for more, but then I realize my Zach's jumping in, and I'm like, ah, that's not good. Um But yeah, it's kind of a problem not having teleports. Because I'm just thinking it's so far away, I don't even want to move. But eventually I do, so if I forward it a bunch, I move all the way there, forward it again, everyone's kind of dead. But I just go in, I get stunned, and when that Elise stun hit me, I swear I was so tilted. But it's fine, we get the kills, and then we just, we leave, it's okay. Now my team is trying to posture for Baron, which is fine. I kind of want to bait the Aurelia in though, so I use my W forwards like this. And then she just flashes on me so I can ult onto her, take my W, use the Qs and then take my ult shadow to auto E again and get my W again kind of a mouthful but yeah and then Seraphine saves me from Carthus ult which is great now we can pressure Baron so as we're taking Baron I use my W backwards and try to just force enemies out but then I realize Elise is on my W waiting so I auto E the Mundo and then I take my W and then I ult so I have another W up to use right after I ult to dodge the Elise stun then I time the spells on his Zonias which is great and now I'm thinking about a way to kill this Varus just use my poke combo while I run backwards from his Q and then I take my W when my E is up so that I can kill him as well. And then after that I'm doing the classic thing that I usually do in the late game where I just farm my own jungle camps while my team ends and they end the game. So yeah thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was useful and all that good stuff and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Into